In this video, we'll explore the Move tool and snapping in 3ds Max. We can get to the Move tool in any number of ways. Pressing the hotkey, W to move, for example, and selecting an object, and there's the Move tool on the chandelier, as shown by the X, Y, and Z axes here. We can get to it up on the main toolbar, the Select and Move button, or we can right-click, and this pulls up our Quad menu, which is vital to 3ds Max. The Quad menu, riding on the right click of the mouse, allows us to have our tools close at hand and is context sensitive, meaning it understands what we're doing and will provide us with additional tools if we'd like, depending on what we're working with. For now, I'll select the chandelier, and we can see it's selected because its wireframe has turned to white. First, I'll move it into the space, pressing T for top view, and zooming back, grabbing in the middle, and pulling it over. There's the chandelier, and what we need to do is to get these chandeliers spaced out and snapped onto these octagonal pieces up on the ceiling. The ceiling in here is roughly divided. There's these large frames with beveled insets, and then inside is a large panel, divided roughly in quarters, with the intersections highlighted by the ceiling chandelier mounts as they're named here on the right in the name and color window. Now I'm ready to snap this into place. I'll make sure my chandelier is selected and press L for left view, Z to zoom extents, and then scroll back a little bit. First I'll get this close. If you'd like to make your move tool bigger, the plus and minus keys will upsize and downsize. When you're moving, if you grab on one axis, it'll pull up and down just on that axis. Grabbing on the bracket between them, which highlighted here are the X and Y, allows you two degrees of motion. Grabbing on the middle of the move tool allows you three degrees of motion, so you can be very precise if you'd like. First, what I'll do is get this close, pulling it up and zooming in so I can see what I'm doing. And now I'm ready to configure my snaps and snap this chandelier right to the bottom of that ceiling piece. I'll press S for Snap, and right-click on that Snap button to configure my snaps. What I'll typically do is uncheck Grid Points and check Vertex, as I've done here. This way, instead of snapping arbitrarily to a grid, I'm snapping to the geometry I've already made. I'll also go under Options and choose Use Axis Constraints, allowing me to move and snap on one axis while registering my mouse somewhere else. I like to see a rubber band shows where I'm coming from and where I'm going, and if you need to change the size of that snap, there's a size right here in pixels. I'll close this dialog, and now I'm ready to snap this object. What I'll also do is press spacebar for the selection lock, and this is something you hear all day long when I'm working. Spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. Select an object, lock the selection, so as long as you click, you can't let it go. You have to unlock it, and then click to deselect. It's a powerful tool, just being able to lock that selection quickly, accessed by the spacebar. Now I'll register my mouse on the top point of this chandelier. You can see the little yellow plus showing it's snapping there. And I'll pull it up, snapping, right onto that ceiling piece, this blue line. Now I was working on two axes here, the Y and the X, which is why it snapped over. But I'm going to go use the Align tool to get this centered so I don't mind as long as it's snapped cleanly up to the ceiling. I'll press T for top view, Z to zoom extents, and now I'll click on the Align tool. Notice I still have the chandelier selected. Then I'll click on this ceiling piece here, this octagon. When the Align tool comes up, we have options about how we're snapping. What are we aligning to? And really I just want to get it centered. So what I'll do is choose Center, and center on the X and Y position, but not Z. Z is actually coming straight up towards us. In 3ds Max, Z is up. And so I've already dealt with the Z position by snapping this up to the ceiling. What I'm really after here is that on the X, horizontal on the screen, and the Y, vertical in this case, it is centered on that intersection. I have options in here, center, minimum, pivot, and so forth, but really centered is just fine on the X and Y, 
and I'll click OK. Now I'll press Alt in the mouse wheel and orbit around, and there's my chandelier cleanly on that ceiling piece, snapped nicely up to it. It's light tight and ready to be cloned in the next videos.